What is Las Vegas in June 2021 like? Has it changed since the pre-COVID days? I'll let you be the judge. Come join us as we venture along the Las Vegas Strip and walk and look at Las Vegas in June of 2021. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bonnie and for those of you new here, I'm always talking about cruise destinations, cruise excursions, extend your cruise ideas and travel related tips. But it's my birthday so I am bringing you to Vegas. It is a crazy place but lots of fun and it could be a possible stop on an extend your cruise say from the west coast. Airfare's not too expensive and hotels have some good prices. We are walking a lot. 3.3 miles from the wind to Mandalay Bay and everywhere in between. We venture through Venetian, Caesars, Mirage, Mandalay Bay, MGM Grand, Excalibur, Luxor, Cosmopolitan, Aria, Bellagio, and more. Not to mention everyone, it is Miss Bonnie and I's birthday. Happy birthday to us and we're excited to bring you along on our vacation. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is a real popular place and we had to wait about a half an hour to get in which isn't bad and we came around 2 to 3 o'clock. So at night it, it's only open till 9 but very popular. Um, fun shakes and it's, it's a cool place. It's a little hot in Vegas so we have our steam. restaurant and we ordered a lot of interesting food. Texan barbecue wings. Oh, Texan barbecue wings. And Martine, what did you get? With the great Norman. With the big knife. It's Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef. And then uh, Livy got the Impossible Burger. I got the same thing. The fries are really good. So we haven't even had the shake, but it was delicious. I swear this Impossible Burger is like a real one. Martin, tell me about this. Oh my this gosh, one, what yeah. is that? Is it actually ice cream sandwich? Yeah, this is cookies and cream. How do they have that sitting there like that? Yeah, I don't know how it doesn't Oh my gosh. Wow, let's that's... try it. I'm ready to eat it. Like can you twirl it around for me so I can see the other side? Does it look exactly the same over there? It's the same. It's the same. So this is a vegan thing. We thought we'd give it a try. I can't imagine what it'll taste like, but it looks delicious. Did it, we did it justice. Pretty much. How did you like it, guys? <laughs> Martin, you're speechless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not feeling good. Yeah, fun. Enjoyed it. Never had anything like this. It was very creative. It's fun to see how all these different people have different different choices. This little note: you don't want to ride a roller coaster after this. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna move on uh, to shopping next. Cosmopolitan. It's nice. It's a little dark. It's definitely a pop culture, just that nightclub feel, but it's it's a really good food here. And we were planning on going to the Wicked Spoon, which is a buffet. 
we couldn't even get in. It's been booked for a month, so book early. We are here at the Uber area to get out of the Cosmopolitan. It takes about an 18 minute wait and it's interesting because it, it, take, it costs less for four people to take an Uber than the monorail which is across the street. This is a little faster and just a little bit easier. We're probably about three miles away but it seems like it's so different in this section of town compared to where we're staying. So just keep that in mind wherever you stay you're probably going to be hanging out in. We are tired. That the, it's about 3.9 miles long and it goes all the way from Sahara Las Vegas station all the way to Mandalay Bay we walked from Mandalay Bay all the way back and that was 22,000 steps that day kind of crazy over 10 miles so I would suggest if you want to take the monorail get a pass that's going to be good for the day, it's $13, or if you'd like, you can buy a $5 one-way fare. Either way you go, it was less expensive for us to do a one-shot deal because we wanted to walk, but if you're wanting to just rent a car, that's an option too, but the rental cars were pretty expensive when we were there. They were going for about $70 a day, so we opted to just uh, take an Uber in from the airport, and then we Ubered it around and walked. But the monorail is an option, and here is the map online. Like I say, $13 for an all-day ticket. Yeah, one ride is $5, one day, 13, two day past 23. There, midnight on Mondays and 3 a.m. all the rest of the week. It has opened up since May, so it is open at this point. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that notification bell and that like button for more opportunities to see more videos just like this one. And also check out my other videos about Northern Europe and everywhere I've been to possibly inspire you for your next vacation. Buffet is always a good way to start your day, fuel up and be ready for the day. I would say MGM Grand was an average place. It wasn't that exciting to me. They could work better with their lines and the way things are flowing. But again, things just opened up, so maybe they're not back in full swing. We had anticipated on going to the Cosmopolitan. So if you can do that, you should go online and book in advance because they are booked up for a month. It's about $37 per person. Things I got, you can get this is served to you, but the rest you're serving yourself. And then I got oatmeal, coffee, sparkling water so you can get soda. And Olivia got some croissants and Juliana got... So it is what it is. Just buffets in general, you just have to wash your hands and enjoy it. This is the iconic New York, New York with the roller coaster, Statue of Liberty. We're right by the MGM Grand. Tropicana is where we're standing. This is a kind of a good view and my daughters are taking pictures. I went to Excalibur to get the tram to Mandalay Bay. The tram wasn't working but there is a tram to take you over there. There's the tracks from the window. But unfortunately we have to walk, not a moving sidewalk today. You don't have to walk in the heat. It's nice, it's something new I haven't seen before. The pathway actually takes us to Luxor first. It's a really pretty place. Shops and restaurants. There's really something for everybody here. It's a Raider store, official team store. Shark Aquarium. Surprisingly, you need a reservation and then they allot you a time and you can go in. So it is actually for cost. Used to be a free event. A lot of people um, stay here because 
there's things to do for kids and it's right next door to the Excalibur. I'm surprised that now it costs something so we're gonna be moving on. Now that's really too bad we don't want to pay to go see this. It's unfortunate but that's just how it is sometimes things change. This is New York, New York. Pizza from Moneyland. We had a margarita pizza. largest chocolate fountain. It measures 26 feet and 3 inches tall and circulates 2 tons of chocolate at a rate of 120 quarts per minute. They got in the Guinness World Record book. good restaurant that I've been to before it's just a kind of a coffee shop a hidden place but it's really a nice venue this is a restaurant called Spago and it's open in the evening and right outside you see the water and there's the water show. It's a nice beautiful restaurant. I don't know how easy it is to get in. It's right across the street from Paris, down the street from MGM. Stay tuned next week for some more Las Vegas where I will be showing you some restaurants and what the win and encore is like. That is where I stayed. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.